Hey guys, Crystal Page Sky here, and welcome back to Let's Play Magna Carta 2. In the last part, the best character ever was introduced, and I'm gonna make him my leader. Because I just want to see him. Hey, Crystal. This is Crystal. Meet Crystal, viewers, viewers. This is Crystal. Crystal, say hi to the viewers. Hi, viewers. Okay. So, you've just met one of my top five favorite protagonists ever in any video game. Yes, he's up there with Samus. That's how serious I am. Um, do I have a minute? Maybe I do. I'm glad to see you. I'm Yim with the Merchant Guild. This is sudden, but I need a favor. I heard some Merchant Guild staffers are in big trouble at the Common Mine. I called in some help right away, but they're nowhere near enough, so I want to help us out. I want you to help us out. The Southern Forces are obliged to protect the Merchant Guild, so you'll do as I ask, won't you? What? What? Okay. Yeah, so this is the point of the game that I love to call the, um, the, what do I like to call it? The, um, side quest overload. Literally, I think for the next maybe two, three, maybe even four episodes, it's going to be side quests. I'm not saying that's bad because side quests are good and we have Crocelle on our team, so everything's all right. <sighs> Just now that he's here, this game is so much more bearable with Judo's emo moments and Zephy's airheadedness and it's just because Chriselle's here. So, oh, hi. Juto, take this. No. What? Come on, you don't even know what a cube is? <laughs> Are you sure you really want to give him a cube? I want to Of course I cube. am. He's a member of the Counter Sentinel mm, unit tasty. now. What the heck is a cube? Is it really that big a deal? Every Allow me to graciously cube, enlighten sugar you, my ignorant yeah, friend. A cube is a device that allows you to receive letters from oh, others. Ignorant friend. I love you, Crisel. How do you get letters with something like this? First, you enter the characters into the cube. It converts those into con, slips it into the con that flows throughout the world, and it's sent now to the pillar in like whatever region you want. The most out of place thing in this entire game. They're basically describing a computer with the internet. Like, literally, that's what it is. The cube is an email device, except in a world where computers and email doesn't exist, so it, I, it just doesn't fit uh, very well. What? Oh, Not well, to me, at least. I suppose your like brain texting, isn't capable of understanding even when it's explained to you. Look, just try to remember that cubes are used to send and receive letters. Uh. Oh, Judo. I'm just watching this animation. Look at that animation. Great That's animation. That's a dedicated right Southern Forces cube, <laughs> so if there are any Southern Forces pillars in the area, you'll be able to send and receive. Pillars? The ones you use to save memories? Well, I'll be. You knew that. Pillars make it possible to save human memories by converting them into Khan. The Southern Forces pillars are all interconnected, so the pillars can share information between each other. Internet. What? I didn't say that. What? Also, all letters sent by someone using a cube are delivered by pillars to their recipient. And you can check the letters you've received from oh, the main menu. Oh, this is menu. another thing. They, ex they go into such uh, detail explaining Our the cube. Our operation orders sometimes come in via cube. But in the game, cube. you never actually so get to make like, sure you use check it. it. You don't get to send your own letters. It's <laughs> the strangest don't thing ever. Don't be such ever. a know-it-all. Everybody knows this stuff. <laughs> Crocelle not being a know-it-all? Please. You guys will get to know him. That's enough. No. Juto, I just want to hear his voice more. As a more. member of the Ugh. Counter Sentinel I love unit, you'll do so most much. of your fighting in a group from now on. Would you like to study party combat? The situation is exactly the same as it was on Highwind Island. Do you know how party combat works? Would you like to learn? I know how party combat works. I already Just in know. case, I'll send you information on party combat to your cube. I'll Make sure you go you over it, all right? Understood. I just want to talk about Crocelle's amazingness. 
Okay. Um, first let me explain party combat. Okay, wait, let me explain letters. Oh, hi. Uh, no, just a minute. Let me read my mail first. Okay, so you press B. And... It will tell you stuff. I'm just gonna get these all out of the way so that... I sent this as a test, blah blah blah. I'm Zephy and I always talk about nice stuff. Okay. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Regarding experience. Oh, experience. Oh. Well, there's something I didn't know. That's awkward. <laughs> I totally thought. Okay. The experience thing, 100%, but standby members get only 70%. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew that they received less, I just didn't know the thing. Now, okay, just pause and read this. And regarding what you can know of Crocell so far, <laughs> it seems like he wouldn't be this like straightforward and nice about the way he says it. Just saying. And again with this one too. I'm a fire wizard. Yeah, Crocell! AI, blah 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 blah. Okay, I'll explain this all to you. Okay, bro, I'm gonna talk to you after I party mechanics. Okay, so you got three people in your party. You've got your active person, which for me is usually going to be Crocell, so I hope you guys like Crocell. Actually, a lot of people who play this game hate Crocell, but you know what? It's my let's play, so I do what I want. Um, and then you can switch the characters by pressing different ways on the whatchamacallit pad. So now I'm Zephy. Woo! I'm rarely gonna play Zephy, but I'm mostly always gonna have her on my team because she's an awesome healer, but she's super annoying in battle. But then, you know, you can switch different people, and then there's chains, and I'll explain chains when we're actually in battle and I just wanna be Crystal. Okay. Now let's talk to this guy. Where'd he go? Bro, come here. Got orders, got pierce worms, but then pierce worms, uh, ripe, uh, deadly poison. It looks like a pure poison worm, and it's a gaudy color. I have an antidote with me, but there's way too many of my medicine. I'll need two. I'll give you this antidote. So will you kill three poison worms for me? Okay. Look at their gaudiness. That's that's a, that's a bold color scheme there. You'll eventually die. Great. Another letter. Are you kidding me? Go away with the letters. Okay. I just want to talk about Crusoe. Because I don't think I made it clear how much I love him. So, there are... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so another thing is... Crusoe is a close-range fighter. I mean, Judo is a close-range fighter. While Crusoe is not... He shoots fireballs from far away, like so. But also, as you can probably see, he moves forward each time he uh, hits, so be careful about that if you're playing safe. So basically, oh my god, stop with the letters, nice to meet you. Uh, oh, okay, I have to read these ones because they're important to the plot. Um, let's see. How do you do, everyone? Igton's the name, people. I didn't set a recipient for this letter. That way everyone gets to read it. Come and join me as I study all about lawn time. Die, Pierce Word. Okay, don't come too close to me, please. Oh. Crusoe, I love you! Anyway, so there's four video game characters as of now that if they showed up at my doorstep, I would drop everything and marry them, basically. Okay, I suppose I should use that antidote on Judo, because I'm nice. Crusoe is one of them. If you want to know all of them, ugh, I'll just list them off really quickly and you can look them up. It would be, okay, it's Crusoe from Magna Carta. It is Samus Aran from Metroid, which uh, but I think you guys probably knew that if you've been following me for a while. Ooh, level up. Yay. Oh, whoops. Um, it is, oh, that is a giant monster. It is um, Lightning Light from Final Fantasy XIII. Well and it is Soren from Fire Emblem. 
That's all for now. Although, of course, there could always be more. Okay, but yeah. No more mentioning that because they're from other games. And I will not go into that. I'm going to make a video about it someday. Someday I will make a video about all of my video game husbands and wives. In order to... Uh, now where am I going? I'm not going the right way. That's what I'm doing. Oh yes, so let me explain these. Look at these lovely little bouncing things. They're so beautiful, right? That is fire con, so when I'm near them, see Crocell's con? It's at six. Five. Five now. But when I walk away, I mean, let me get far enough away. I'll burn you till you're charred! I go back down. One. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, Zephy, are you serious? Um, so obviously there's being, yeah, see it's still being generated from here, but oh well. Um, let's go talk to this dude who is a wimp and couldn't do it himself, but it was easy work for me because I just burned them. Okay, bro, give me some experience. Um, only one of us got, okay. Thank you very much. Oh, that reminds me. I need to give Crocell some epic equipment. Now, okay. This is when I'm going to start getting into strategic stuff. Because I really know these characters. I mean, not to brag, but I know the characters pretty well. So I know what is best to equip them with. Crocell is really... Okay, as you can see right now, he's really low on attack. Later, I'm going to boost his attack like you don't even know. But what Crocell's biggest thing is his freaking stamina recovery. So I'm going to be giving everything to him to give him stamina, basically. Oh, and I'm going to make him immune to poison because his HP is low. He 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 he. Yeah, each character's got their own, like, little quirks of the things that's lowest and the things that's highest. Oh my gosh, hi there, bro. Just a minute. I'm gonna... Okay, fine. I suppose I should talk to him. Do his little escort mission. Okay. 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 Let's go. You will fail this quest. Okay, let's go, man. Let's go. Um, I'm trying to think of what all the characters, like, weak points and strong- Oh my gosh, now this is the stupid thing about escort missions. They think they have to fight every single freaking animal on the map. And it's, like, unavoidable or something. Like, they can't just run past them. Like, these aren't doing anything to you. They're not doing anything. Let me get that for you, bro. I'll get it. And then they run off. And they're like, oh, wait, there's more monsters. Must fight to them. And you're like, rude, dude, I'm trying to protect you. Why are you running off towards all of these things? I don't get it. Oh, yes, and in a very, um... Almost Final Fantasy style. Um, if the enemy dies, you automatically attack the next one. I'll just start killing this. Oh, hi, too close, too close, too close. Um, each character has two different, uh, like, weapon types, attack styles. And, um, I get your enthusiasm, oh, sorry. But you should oh, rest. This is quick run. Get him, get him, get him. You idiot, why are My you fighting against play. that, you idiot? Um, and I'm used to, as Crocell, running up and being really close because I don't really like this um, attack style for him. Safe to attack now. But, um, so that's why I've been kind of running up and being really close to him, but I must remember to stay back. Oh yeah, and usually on these missions, there's really, it's really hard to for the person to die if you're actually paying attention to the uh, out. Here's the finishing blow! Take this! <laughs> Huh? Oh, 
just love you, Chris. Oh, I just. Oh. First of all, he's voiced by freaking Yuri Lowenthal, which is possibly. Please, thank you. Which is possibly a freaking favorite down. voice actor ever. Because he just has perfect everything. Oh, and then just. I mean, it's like Johnny Young Bosch and Yuri Lowenthal both in this game. And I really want to say that Terra Strong is here too, but I could be completely wrong. And. Yeah, just go with that. Because the only, like, two really impressive voice actors, I think, is Chrisel and Judo. Those two, Yuri Lowenthal and jo Johnny Young Bosch, they're both brilliant in this game. I received a letter. Do you know about commons? Yes, because I've played this game before, but I'll read it. Let's study about commons today. They look just like rocks, but whoa! Inside there dwell all sorts of different powers. All these monsters in the field have commons inside them, so they've grown strong. Excuse me. Commons can be crafted into ornaments, or even used to enhance weapons. Be sure to put them to good use. Excuse me, good use, everyone. That's nice. Okay, give me my experience. We made it. Um, you really saved our highs. Oh, thank you. Good little Crocelle. Good Crocelle. We will. We will all leveling up like such a good little Crocelle. Okay, now see. Look at all these. Look at. Look at. Look at all of these freaking side quests. And look at this treasure chest. It's a nice treasure chest. Um, I think this is a good place to end off this episode. So, I will see you guys in the next part for more Crocelle awesomeness. Yeah!